What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and today I am going to show you what RAM is. So, RAM is used in all sorts of different devices like phones, tablets, computers, and I'm sure you have one of them. If you don't buy now, then how would you be watching this video? So, you see how I have my phone here, and I'm just going to turn Sorry about that, I actually had to redo the clip, um, because I accidentally touched my touchpad whenever I was leaning over. Okay, so, here I have my phone. And, um, yeah, so, say I was going to open a game or my camera or something. So, in this instance, let's open up Helix Jump, which is a game that, um, it's just a simple game that you, you know, switch around and I can't really play on the camera. All right, so, the point is, when I just open that up, that's stored in my RAM. And so, I am using a Galaxy S9, um... Just for future reference, you'll see why you need that information later in the video. But say I open YouTube. That's now stored in the RAM. Now if I go to my home screen and go hit this button, which this is where it comes into play of a, being a Galaxy S9, um, you see the apps that I just opened. So if I go back to that Helix Jump game, it's already loaded up. So basically, RAM is really important. Basically, what it is, um, is, hang on, let me turn that off for a second. Alright, so, like, on my computer that I'm recording with right now, when I open that up, it stores in the RAM. So, RAM is basically what holds all your applications temporarily. So, now, normally you won't have to worry about how much RAM storage you have unless you're doing really intense gaming, which, um... You know, then you'll have to start worrying about, like, how much RAM you have. Like, for instance, this phone has 4 gigabytes of RAM, so, um, I can open a lot of apps at one time. So, if I open Paper Diode 2, I would be able to just open it, and now that's in the RAM. So, if I go back here and switch apps again, I don't have to reload it. Now, for instance, if I take it out of my RAM, if I swipe it out, which that you should do normally if you're on Android, um, and then, like, if I just swipe it out, and then hit YouTube again, it'll have to load up again, because it wasn't previously stored in the RAM since I've cleared it out. So, um, yeah, guys, that is my explanation of what RAM is. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below, because I don't really feel like I've explained it enough. I can't really think of a way to explain it more than that, but, um, I will have other videos, um, of, like, what is a CPU and what is ROM and stuff like that. So, uh, oh, that's what I was forgetting. I forgot to tell you guys what RAM actually stands for. So, as you know, or as you may have seen, it's R-A-M, but what it actually stands for is Random Access Memory. So, yeah, <laughs> I really don't have any more explanation, but like I said, if you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments below, and I will answer them as soon as possible. So, um, yeah guys, hope you enjoyed, and uh, peace.